So in this video, we're going to see how to perform an acid fast stain or film movement. So I already have a pre-prepared slide of microvacuum esmeralis, and I'm going to put a piece of paper towel that is cut to the size of the slide. And then I'm going to put this into boiling water that is going to vaporize the bottom of the glass slide. And I'm going to be adding carbophoxin, which is a primary stain of seal Nielsen, into the top of these paper towels until it's soaked wet. And it will stay in this vapor for vaporizing or steaming for five minutes. And I will be keep adding dye every time that I see that the surface of the paper towel is drying. Now, the reason for us to do this method is to allow the opening of the walls of the microbacteria so that you can have penetration of the primary stain, which is carbophoxin. <clears throat> Mycobacteria has a very thick wall that is hard to penetrate with other methods. And at least this is the acid fast staining with the seal Nielsen, which uses vapor. There's another one that's called Kinjun that it doesn't use vapor, but the bacteria doesn't stain as well. I see here that the paper towel is getting dry. So I'm going to add more carbophoxin. And I'm going to get a beaker because at the end of this, I'm going to withdraw this paper towel, put it in the beaker, and then add acid alcohol to decolorize this stain, and then I'm going to add the counter stain. So let me go and get a beaker. As you can see, the steam is coming out from the bottom of the beaker into this grid where you have the, the glass slide. <clears throat> bacteria like mycobacteria is very species is very resistant to the attack of the immune system because they have this thick 
photocycolic acid and bacteria is encapsulated as well it's resistant to the action of the immune system and for mycobacteria we have different species that are pathogenic for humans like mycobacterium tuberculosis mycobacterium leprae and they are medically important and a half more and then while this is happening so let me tell you so bacteria that is sustained with acid fats that is acid fat positive it will stain red with the primary stain which is carboxyl and then bacteria which is acid fats negative is going to stain with blue which is methylene blue so the three stains for or dyes or three reagents, sorry, that you use is carbofuction, primary stain, and then acid alcohol, which contains 95% of alcohol and 3% of hydrochloric acid, and methylene blue. And then you will have a rinse step in between. Okay, so it's time to take out this from um, the steaming. So we can take it here to the sink. And we're going to take away this paper and then put it into the beaker. Now the slide, we're going to grab it with a coat spin. Rinse a little bit the excess of this carbofuction with distilled water. And then add the acid alcohol. So carbofuction is for five minutes. Acid alcohol for 10 seconds. all the area where you have the smear which is supposed to be the center of the slide and then rinse after 10 seconds really well and then add your counter stain which is methylene blue for one minute So diseases that are caused by mycobacteria will be, in the case of mycobacterium leprae, leprosy, mycobacterium tuberculosis can cause lung tuberculosis and cause POT disease, which is tuberculosis of the spine. And also they can go and cause tuberculosis of the kidneys or soft tissue in general. So these bacteria, uh, the bacterial species of mycobacteria are obligate arrows, meaning that they require oxygen to, to live. They cannot live in the absence of oxygen. And then mycobacterium tuberculosis live in the lungs because it's filled with oxygen most of the time. 
So here now we're done with the minute for the counter stain, so I'm going to rinse. And then let it air dry like this. And once it's air dry, we can uh, look at it under the microscope. Uh, so this is all for this video. Bye-bye.